Good morning, everybody. It is 4.30 in the morning. I went to bed pretty early, um, and I woke up around 3.15 and just laid in bed for a little bit and read, um, but now I'm awake. I'm gonna make some coffee, and for coffee this morning, I'm actually trying, well, I actually tried it yesterday. Nespresso came out with their four iced coffee. This glass doesn't sit the way I need it to, so I <laughs> put the tape measure from the drunk drawer below to like prop it up. So I can't get like that really glamorous coffee shot for the vlog because I have a tape measure making it happen. All right, so I'm just gonna brew that and then get this day going. So I have um, the vlog from yesterday ready to go. I'm gonna publish that at seven. And then I just have my planner. I thought I'd show you guys this. I have the iPad Pro, love it. I found this really beautiful case. I wanted something that was kind of a dark brown. Part of my hand, I burnt myself yesterday while cooking. Um, I wanted to find something that was dark brown, so I found this one. It was super plain, and then I was like, what could I do to jazz it up? So I ordered the Anna Heinmark stickers. They are leather stickers. They're super high quality. I will say they're a, a little overpriced, um, but I knew they'd be the highest quality, and they'd adhere really well. I absolutely love them. I have them on, like, my Smithson notebooks and a couple others, um, but... I'm using that as my like planner. I want to change out this wallpaper, but um, yeah, they're really, really cute. Like just the quality of them is so, so good. All right, now we can get a glamour coffee shot. I mean, isn't that beautiful? All right, I'm gonna do my devotions for the day and then we'll catch up. It's 4.40 now. It'll probably be like 5.15 when I'm done. I am getting ready to work out It's about 6.15. I'm also wearing one of my shirts in my merch shop. If you're interested, it is linked down below. Um, I have some cute uh, designs for the quarantine time and also the summer designs will be coming in the next couple weeks, so keep checking back there. I'm super excited about some of the ideas I have for the summer shirts. So many of you have been asking over on Instagram because that's where you've seen it around the Lek Fit workout. So let me show you a little bit about it. It is an app that you can download for the virtual classes. It's out of LA. <clears throat> Lots of celebrities do it. I know Busy Phillips is really big on Lek Fit, Reese Witherspoon, but I adore it. So they just uploaded new classes. So uh, you get tips for the week, but then there are also boost classes, which is a combination of strength and the rebounder. So you might do two songs on the rebounder, then do a song of weights. So you do light weights because you're literally lifting for like five minutes straight or four minutes straight, which is a long time. Then there's hype classes that are, that are really high cardio. They do sometimes use the rebounder. There's the it's Define. Those are more like toning classes. And then they have some old workouts as well on there. I think I pay $14 a month, but they've been updating classes like every other day. So let's talk about rebounders. I did my research and really took my time figuring out what I wanted to buy. This is by Jump Sport. This is actually the rebounder they use at LecFit. You can see how many bands are around it. It is completely silent. Now, I also splurged and got the one that's hinged. So this actually folds in half. So if I wanna take it to my parents' house, I totally could. Um, that was important to me as well. This one is pricier, but like I said, it was worth it. And I was nervous about buying something on Amazon because there weren't enough reviews on it. This I knew was really high quality, so it was worth spending the money on. As far as equipment, you'll need ankle weights. These are five pound weights by Nike. They do sell them on the LecFit website. I actually wanna get the LecFit ones um, when they're back in stock. Then 10 pound weights and five pound weights. I bought them as a set. You can buy them individually. Wish I would have. I very rarely ever use the fives. 
They use the tens and that doesn't seem like a lot, but when you're doing arm exercises and not putting your arms down for like four minutes, 10 pounds is a lot. I also have free weights that are 15 and 20 pounds, so I can use those if I ever wanna lift like heavier weights. This is one of my favorite things. I bought this off the LecFit site. They strap onto your ankles and it's like a resistance band. And then this is just your straight up normal resistance band. These are gliders. The hard surface is for carpet. The soft surface glides on hardwoods. And then one thing you use the most of is like this kind of resistance band, um, like the wide strap. I'll tell you, do not buy this. Don't buy any like this. They roll up, they then cut into you and they hurt. So I'm not a fan of the color of these, but it's all they had in stock on Amazon and they were highly reviewed. They come in three sizes, um, but they are wide cloth. They have grips inside. Wherever you put them on your legs, they stay. They're my new favorite thing. Um, I love them. I've used all three sizes, but this one was a total waste of a couple bucks. That's kind of how it works. You spike your heart rate, you bring it down, you spike it, you bring it down, um, back and forth. I've been loving it. Each workout's about 50 to 55 minutes, so they are longer workouts, but I actually like a longer workout. I burn somewhere between 700 and 1,000 calories each time, but I will say I usually add extra cardio in on my own um, to spike that calorie burn, so I don't think that's like normal, but I've been doing it four to five days a week for almost two months now, and I love it, and I'm going to continue to do it, but I am excited to go back to the gym. I just finished my workout and I wanted to send this live at 7 so it's a little bit late but better late than never you can see look how sweaty I am um, so I did 900 calories well 892 but we'll round up um, all right I'm gonna just guzzle some water then get showered because I have my first uh, meeting at 8 a.m. about 7:50, and I'm just like reviewing some notes for uh, two back-to-back -back meetings, so I'll be done sometime around 10 and then we will catch up, but I'm all cleaned up um, and Yeah, I threw on this sweatshirt because I only really wore it like on the couch last night So I just wore it again because I didn't want a dirty laundry I don't know about you guys, but we were doing laundry non-stop cleaning our floors non-stop being at home all the time has really uh, Up the cleaning game. We're doing dishes constantly because I'm cooking all the time um, But yeah you guys all feel my pain, but all right, I'm gonna finish prepping for these meetings and then we will catch up later. You never said anything about those. About what? The pompous grass. The what? The pompous grass. Oh, you know, I did notice this. Where did they, where did they... Amazon. Are they uh, fake? No, they're real. Are they? <laughs> yeah, oh. it's real pompous grass. <laughs> Don't think it'd be water? No, they're just... <laughs> <laughs> They're just dried up pompous grass that you stick in a vase. It needed something now that it's the only vase there. What, what happened to the other ones? Well, one is over there, one is in the cabinet, what one is in the laundry room. In the laundry room? <laughs> yeah, for decor on the shelf. I was just answering comments over on Instagram, um, speaking out about just all the recent things happening and our role and responsibility is to not sit idle and to make sure that we are speaking out against any acts of racism and just injustice that we see. When you don't speak out, you are just as guilty. Um, and then in the midst of that, got a lot of comments around like, why would you speak out? You'll lose subscribers, you'll lose followers. And my question then to them is, if you don't speak out, I think that's the better question of why you're not. Um, and I will always risk losing subscribers and followers over doing what I feel is right. Um, but on the other hand, we can all also coexist kindly and have differences of opinions as well. Um, but I will never um, prioritize numbers and subscribers and followers over doing what I believe in my core is right and how I was raised. So that's that. Follow me over on Instagram for some more. Um, but yeah, now I'm just making lunch. I have actually a lot of time until my next meeting. It's not till two and it's 1230 right now, 1220ish. Um, and I am making a lunch. I have the Trader Joe's falafel and my Brava. This is one of my favorite 
kitchen contraptions. We use it two to three times a day. I would say top favorite appliance. This thing is a toaster. It bakes, it reheats, it air fries, it dehydrates, it sears, it broils. I mean, there's nothing you can't do with it. It also comes preset with recipes. So you can just throw the food in there, press go, and it takes care of it. it. Has a meat thermometer that computer links up. Make sure your meat is cooked perfectly. Like Steven and I love this thing. Um, one of the best purchases I made in 2020. Did I make it before? I don't even remember when we got it. I think it was after Vlogmas. So it was 2020 when I got it. But we love it. I toasted a tortilla. Um, on the stove top. And now I'm just going to add some hummus, some greens, and then the cut up. Um, actually, I might have a cucumber in there. If I have a cucumber, I'm going to add some cucumber as well. By golly, I did. And it's already been cleaned. I forgot that I had this sitting in there. All right. I did have some cucumbers, so I'm just going to add some cucumber to this. I might actually not add any of the other greens then. I just think the falafel and cucumber is a better combo. All right, so the falafels are done, I think. Um, I'm just gonna cut two of them, see if they're... Yes, they're done. And I am just going to... These are definitely not healthy. Um, the serving size is three of them. I'm just gonna do two because all I need. And I'm just going to wrap this up and this is lunch. It is not fancy, but it will be delicious. I have some time. And finally the tray and the pitcher came and I'm going to try to style this in some way that it still looks really neat and organized because I'm not happy with it right now. So we're going to play with this a little bit. Okay. <laughs> You might not be able to tell a difference, but I can tell a huge difference and it makes me so much happier So I trimmed down the glasses and just put them under that little shelf I also have a decanter from the same bleaker bar collection To go and then I just added a little plant with all the bottles and then up here a little tray Two mixology books that I'm looking at because I know nothing about mixing cocktails Mother's straws all the tools, some fresh lemons and limes. It feels way more contained and neat. I'm really happy with it now. I really like it. We have an adult bar cart. It is 4.45 and I just wrapped for the day. And I'm tired and I don't even feel like cooking dinner. Tonight I was supposed to make butternut, <laughs> butternut spaghetti squash bolognese and I don't feel like cooking. Steven's still working upstairs. I think when he comes down, I'm gonna tell him I don't feel like cooking. And now it's almost five o'clock and we usually eat by six. I'd be content just to go to bed right now. Do you ever have those days, like the morning was so productive and then by, I'd say one o'clock, like I just got in a funk. I just think there's so much happening in the world. like you don't even know like where to go. Um, I've like kept the TV turned off and if it's been on, it's been on like nonsense. And I just, I don't know. I don't know my friends. It's not been a, t and it, like, it's not been a bad day by any stretch of the imagination. Like work has been good. It's just some days you just feel funky. <laughs> it's it's so funny like I think we're on day 76 of this and like some days it feels like you can conquer the world and then other days you're just like meh all right I'm gonna wait for Steven to come down and break the news that I don't want to make dinner and then see what transpires from there what were you doing working by working he means taking a nap I'm just taking a slight siesta because I work better in the evening when it's dark I have no desire to cook I don't either. Do you want a pizza? I don't necessarily, I'm not really hungry. Did you eat anything for lunch? Yes, I had that falafel wrap. Oh. I'm just not hungry and I like the idea of cooking right now <laughs> is exhausting. Also, what I plan on making, I need like an hour and it's already 5.30.
What are you planning on making? The uh, spaghetti squash bolognese. It's so much effort. I have to like prep all the vegetables. I have to make homemade sauce. I need to roast the spaghetti squash. I have all to right. cool the spaghetti yeah. sauce. I have to make noodles. Then I have to like do all the things. So you can sit down and have a delicious meal. You eat too. It's not like I eat most. He's it's on the landing. Um, well, we have to eat dinner. We just can't not eat dinner. <laughs> I can just not. I could go to bed right now. I was just up on the couch napping. But if I go to bed right now, I'll be up at 2 in the morning or 1 in the morning baking bread. That's not a good idea. How about Chipotle? <laughs> you know how I feel about Chipotle. I hate it. Um, it's literally my least favorite place to eat. It's, it is. And you would eat it every day. Not really. No. It is your number one place. It is, it is, but I, you know, I regret it after I eat it because I'm like, I always think it's going to taste great and it does. And then I regret it. I don't think it tastes that good. I would love for you guys to comment down below. Do you think Chipotle is that good that it gets all this hype? I do not think it tastes good. I think it tastes, but then I regret it because I'm like, I just ate all those calories and it was so, so, I mean, but, but you do it to yourself. You <laughs> once a week. Yes. No, no, I've only eaten... No, it's... Since we... Since you've been in the quarantine, it's been different. But, like, you could usually do it once a week. I could. I you al almost always do. Because there's one night that I'm like, I'm not cooking and I'm not eating. And you will go get it. Yeah. I mean, I, I could do it. But then I regret it. And I'm like, no. But you'll still do it anyway. I suppose. But it's not... It's you can have Chipotle if you want. No, that's fine. I don't, I don't want really anything. Pizza. Do you have anything like easy to cook, like a frozen pizza? No, we don't have anything like that. Everything is just ingredients. <laughs> because I've been cooking everything from scratch. So we just have like a list of ingredients. We actually oh, no, have like no, no I food. Made turkey burgers for lunch. Bubby, you can't have turkey burgers again. You haven't had one. I'm not having it dinner. You're not having it all. No, I'm tired. I'm actually like so tired I don't want to eat. He's never had that feeling. No. All right. I got a book from, oh, this might solve our problem, hold on. It's a book about a man who drops everything and, and leaves the U.S. and lives with his family, goes to live with his family in France to learn French cooking. How does that solve our dinner problem? Uh, we could have something French. French fries. French, French toast. That would require me to cook and I'm not doing it. I know how to make French fries. No. Maybe not French toast, but... All right. So this is my new uh, read. So I'm not making dinner tonight, so there'll be no cooking in this vlog. And I am just gonna chill for a minute. And I don't know what they're doing. It's in a bark box. No, we don't get those anymore. Wait, it is, hold on, let me check the time. It is 1 a.m., exactly. Um, so it is officially Thursday morning. And I'm awake, I went to bed at six, I didn't eat dinner. I was like, just exhausted mentally and um, physically. I was up really early. I worked out really hard this this morning. And um, yeah, so I went to bed at six and I woke up around 12.30. I've been doing some work on my laptop and um, I realized that I never ended this vlog. So this is me ending it. <laughs> Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind, my friends. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone. Until next time. Mm -hmm.